Over the past two weeks, I have had three pieces of furniture sell. Furniture just hasn't moved with much vigor here recently, so I've just been really taking my time on sourcing anything new, but that's kind of put me in a predicament where I'm not very prepared for this furniture to have moved so soon. All that to say is I wasn't planning on coming to the antique mall today to do this because it's so icy and cold but uh, I have to. We're going into the weekend and because it's gonna be such a cold weekend, I have a feeling people are gonna be all up in this antique mall shopping. It's been like that for the past couple weekends because it's been so cold. Nobody wants to go outside and do anything else. And this is actually kind of a really fun family thing to do. Come walk around the antique mall, maybe you'll find a treasure. The round pedestal table that had the Christmas decor up here at the front of the booth sold. The cabinet back in the corner that had all of the little bits in it that I said I was considering painting black. It sold three or four days ago. And then the cabinet that I traded during the last reset, the fall reset, remember I had that white cabinet and then I traded it for that smaller dark wood beadboard back cabinet? Well, that little beadboard back cabinet sold yesterday. So two big storage pieces that had a lot of smalls in them sold. I have a cabinet in the storage unit that was very similar to the cabinet that I said I was gonna paint black that I can put back in that hole to replace it. Now the table though, I'm going to replace it with the desk that I was using in my home office. And all that was was two wooden sawhorses with an old door just laying across them. I'm looking for tables. It is tough to find a good table right now, at least for me. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna <laughs> use my desk as a table. I'll put a, I don't wanna sell it price on it just because it is my desk. If it sells though, I can always find a new desk. But I'm gonna put a, I don't wanna sell it price on it and I'm gonna replace that pedestal table that was up here at the front with that. I didn't bring in any new smalls. I have some smalls to bring in, but really, I just need to get this place back to being functional for this weekend. And when I say that this was not the plan for today, I actually really want to go to this. It's a little antique mall, but it kind of has that thrift feel to it. So I really try and hit that place up today. So we're going to try and finish this as fast as possible. This is how the sawhorse door table desk setup looks. I, I'm hesitant to stage it quite yet just because we need to go get that cabinet out of the storage unit and I feel like it'll be a priority to fill that first and then whatever is left we'll, we'll figure out a little uh, display on the table up here. Let me show you how this booth looks right now. Big empty space right there where that one cabinet was and there's that big empty hole. Smalls galore, filling up all the surfaces that are still left in here. Oh boy, yeah. They just had to put the smalls everywhere so they can move 
the pieces out. There must be like something to saying that you're going to paint a piece here soon because every time that I've mentioned that I'm plan on changing a piece of furniture that's currently in the booth. That white cabinet that I traded and I was like, I'm literally painting this today. And then that day she, she asked for that trade. And then this piece, literally in the last video, I was like, I'm planning on painting that black soon. And it's gone. Don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled, so happy. I don't have to paint it black. It just sells as is. Perfect, perfect. I'm thrilled. Now I just gotta bring in the other one in the cold and it's all the way at the back of the storage unit and that means I'm gonna have to bring stuff out of the storage unit so I can get it from the back of the storage unit and bring it up and then put it in the truck. Oh, it's gonna be so fun, so fun. I'm really looking forward to it. This is being an antique booth owner. I'm really just stalling at this point because I don't wanna do it. Don't wanna do it. All right, let's do it. like why is this thing so dusty and then I remember the last place it was at was Luckett's but I got it wiped off and cleaned pretty good I'm gonna tighten see if I can tighten up this flathead right here on this door
Okay. <laughs> we are back to being in a decent place with this booth. That was so much more work than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be way quicker. Nah, 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 nah. But let me show you around and show you what's up. Here is the front situation. Uh, I like it. It all works together pretty well. Lots of moody colors. And I'm hoping it being together will help it sell. Now over here, I don't think I explained the plan for that door. So I went back and forth on whether or not to bring in one of those super tall doors or just bring in one of these shorter white doors. And I'm gonna test out the shorter white door. I think it'll work great for being able to hang more art, more mirrors, showcase maybe some darker items. And I like how it turned out. You know, at one point I had that painting back there sold and then it just ended up falling through. So I've had it for a while now and people back, what, like a year or two ago, really were into it. And I feel bad that anybody that was interested in it and I told you it was sold, I'm sorry. And then this cabinet styled very similarly to the cabinet that was here prior. Now this one also has a lighter inside, which I like, but I'm thinking about bringing that lighter color to the outside too and adding some just little hand painted details, maybe like in the corner of these doors or here or something, like little wisps, I don't know, something. Just because it is so dark on the outside. Now normally I would not touch something with this beautiful dark patina, but I feel like I need to do it for this piece. So. TBD on that and when we get to do it, it'll probably be around when I start doing the Valentine's Day stuff But who knows maybe me saying that it's going to get some kind of painted detailing or be changed will make itself faster overall I'm happy with it. Are there some things that I'd like to work on a little more and change? Yes, but is it good enough for this weekend? Absolutely this is all I have left as far as the Christmas stuff goes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of here today. Just to let you know, there is a person down in Tennessee, another Amanda actually, doing a 30-day antique booth video challenge. God bless her. I can barely get through Vlogmas and that's 25 days. So she's down there hustling and her YouTube is Gilded Goods. There you go, you can see that and I'll put her Instagram somewhere on the screen as well. But you should definitely go check her out. I believe she's on day 18 today and she's doing it, man. It is, it's a tough thing to do, but it's a crash course and content creation and this cart's really loud that's passing me. So I'm just gonna let it go by before I finish my sentence. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. You're messing up the filming, Eric. Sorry. <laughs> as I was saying, she's doing a 30 day antique booth challenge where it, it's not like just antique booth stuff, but it's mostly antique booth stuff. And she's done a reset, she's moved stuff around, she's thrifted. Make sure to go check her out because I think she's gonna be a person that you want to follow along with and see where that journey for her goes. Also, before my camera dies, I'm on 1%. Somebody dropped some really awesome stuff here at the antique mall for me. And whoever you are, thank you so much. It looks beautiful. Let's go, I haven't even gone through it yet came in this wonderful woven hanging basket. You know what you're doing. Ooh, a tool, no, an iris wall hanging piece. Oh, here you go, perfect. Old Willow Antiques and Primitives. Thank you so much, I so appreciate it. Where are you at? You are in Hanover, Pennsylvania in Yesteryear Antique Center of Hanover. Hopefully I said all that right. This tray is gorgeous. I love this tray and I I don't want to I don't want to read the card on camera. Please don't make me read it on camera. Ooh, there's these really interesting balls. Here's one that kind of looks more like a cheetah leopard pattern and then here's one that's kind of more of a tiger pattern. Reminds me of the bangles. Look at this awesome turned vase. That is handmade, but that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Actually, it kind of almost looks like more of a, ca a candle piece. A candlestick holder. Ooh, what is this? Are these some little sherbet bowls? Look how cute. Some pressed glass sherbet bowls, I think. They almost have like a little footed look on them. I don't know if you can see that right there. Those are so cute. Thank you so much. That was so nice. Deb, 
Thank you, Deb. A quick look at her, actually a really nice business card. It's nice and big. You can see what she has to offer there. Deb from Old Willow Antiques and Primitives. Thank you so much, that was so generous. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about putting that that basket at Luckett's. Would that be, would that be bad? Actually, I might have a really good place right at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate it. We really need to get to that antique mall. I think it's three right now. So the next video that you see me in, I'm gonna be wearing this exact same outfit. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.